We have called for an independent investigation, and I am still very confident in the truth. Thank you all so much. The executive mansion was in sight. With Ralph Northam engulfed in scandal over this racist photo on his yearbook page, Justin Fairfax, the state's lieutenant governor, was told by his team to get ready. I'm thinking about, you know, my family. I'm thinking about, you know, how uh, this will change things for a lot of people. He spent a weekend in early February planning to move his family from northern Virginia to Richmond. If that had happened, if he had made the decision to resign and I was elevated to the governorship, um, I also would have been the only African-American governor in the entire United States of America. An accusation that you were trying to obstruct justice. Thanks, guys. Heading home, had a good day. Thank you, guys. That planning quickly cut short. He was labeled a rapist and predator, accused of sexual assault by Dr. Vanessa Tyson in 2004 and Meredith Watson when they were students at Duke University in 2000. We are hearing from two women who... Those claims amplified this week by Republicans with a campaign ad. forcibly sexually assaulted and raped me. Featuring Tyson and Watson's interview on CBS This Morning earlier this year. You have to hold someone down. It's not consensual. A lot of people are wondering, why would these two women risk their own lives, their own safety, uh, and publicly make these claims against you? It's unfortunate because these claims are false. So there's still that why. You know, it, it, it's unfortunate. I, I can't claim to know, you know, the exact motives in, in the minds of someone uh, who, who would do this. Fairfax says it was consensual and is still on a campaign to try and clear his name from passing lie detector tests to publicly pleading before his colleagues. With no facts, no due process, no evidence, no nothing. He also stepped down as partner from his Northern Virginia law firm, focusing solely on his job as lieutenant governor, a part-time job paying $36,000 a year. That there's obviously people out there who didn't want to see me in this position, right? And they were willing to, you know, do things to try to stop me uh, from serving in that role or from advancing. Fairfax blames Richmond Mayor LeVar Stoney, another rising star in the state's Democratic Party. It's about power, it's about access, it's about money, uh, and unfortunately for so many people it's about a game. In a lengthy lawsuit against CBS for that interview with Tyson and Watson, the lieutenant governor includes text messages which he says show friends of Stoney staffers pressuring Tyson to go public during the weekend of Northam scandal, like this one that reads, Friend, Northam may be forced to resign tomorrow. That and I think your story should get to the local press today rather than later. If you really believe that this was a true allegation, why would you sit on it and then wait to target at the opportune time? That's you weaponizing a false allegation. That's you weaponizing the Me Too movement. A spokesperson for Mayor Stoney says the insinuation is 100% untrue and frankly, it's offensive. Months later, with no public hearing for Tyson and Watson scheduled by the General Assembly and no movement on a criminal investigation, the lieutenant governor is now using the courts and that CBS lawsuit to put this issue to rest. I mean, that's the thing about a court case is you actually have subpoena power, uh, right, to finally compel people to testify, to give documents and records, to, to get to the truth, to have people be under oath. Fairfax also wants this all cleared up because he will likely run for governor in 2021, adding to an already uphill battle. I've not been perceived as uh, this insider who, you know, everybody in, inside the party or inside the establishment is pushing for. Especially after these sexual assault allegations, within days, nearly all Virginia Democrats and Republicans called for Fairfax to resign. Three people yeah. did not call for it were Wilder, Senator Warner, mm -hmm. and Congressman Bobby Scott. Yeah. Still in his corner, Virginia's first black governor, Doug Wilder, a man Fairfax calls his political hero and longtime mentor. Fairfax says he constantly turns to Wilder because they've been treated similarly in Virginia, and both have now been accused of acting inappropriately. A 20-year-old VCU student says Wilder kissed her without her consent. But Wilder says the claims are baseless and has offered Fairfax this advice. He had to fight, you know, insiders and he had to fight the establishment. He had to fight underhanded attacks, but he always trusted the people, always went to the people and they always had his back. Meanwhile, CBS is asking a judge to dismiss that defamation lawsuit. As for Fairfax's accusers, attorneys for Tyson and Watson say both women still want a public hearing. However, with Virginia Democrats taking control of the House and Senate, that does not seem likely. They've called it political theater. I'm Lorenzo Hall, WUSA 9.